Jane, we're here at the 2014 Painting for a Purpose auction. Tell us what's going on here tonight. Oh, it's so exciting. We have 35 clocks that we have been painted by local artists uh, going to be live auctioned, and then we have about 10 clocks that are going to be uh, silent auctioned, and we have, oh, lots of different things painted by lots of different people, local people, that are in the silent auction, and all the proceeds from tonight go into a, a philanth our philanthropy for students to apply for grants to improve their community, the Portland Public Schools children. There's a wide variety of styles and forms on the clocks. Were there any guidelines or could they do anything they wanted? Anything they wanted. Artists do not want any guidelines, so we didn't give them any. The only thing we needed was that it was going to be a clock. For those in our audience who don't know, tell us a little bit about the background of Painting for a Purpose. Well, it's really uh, a good, quite a good background. Five years ago, Tina and I started to paint chairs together, and we thought, what could we do with these? And we thought, well, we could always sell them for ourselves, or, I know, let's go ahead and have a lot of people paint with us and for us, and we'll have an auction, and the money will go into a philanthropy for students from Portland schools to apply for grants to improve their community. Both Tina and I, being classroom teachers, know the benefit when students actually get an idea and have it have it um, go with money behind it so it will go into fruition so they can see their idea. What kind of projects do the students do? Well, one project that I recall is students from Lyseth, I believe it was Lyseth, wanted more lettuce in their lunches. So they wrote us a grant and it got approved and we sent them money for them to build lettuce gardens so they were able to put more uh, lettuce in their garden, uh, uh, lettuce in their lunches. Kathy, tell us a little bit about your project. So we have an art club at Portland High School. Um, our art teacher, Barbara Loring, had said, Tina Edwards has brought these fish to you guys and like for you guys to paint them for, paint it for a purpose for the auction at DeMillo's. And we took that opportunity and so I just was so invested in decorating these wooden fish that I took most of them home with me. And so I used watercolors, colored pencil, um, a bit of acrylic and tempera, and they came out looking really nice. So I'm glad I could contribute to this auction. And um, I heard that the special ed class had made them in a wood workshop class. And so I'm really happy that having my work and having pictures sent of what came out of them now, it just makes me feel that I did a really good thing. Tell us a little bit about the relationship between Penning for a Purpose and the Portland Public School System. Well, the relationship started over four years ago when Tina and Jane got together and looked at um, what they wanted to do in terms of uh, supporting and making a difference uh, in Portland Public Schools and um, with the projects that they were working on and their passion love for painting. And so out of Painting for a Purpose was an opportunity for Tina and Jane to support student-led service learning projects in Portland Public Schools. This relationship has grown over the last four years where they raised over $13,000 to support over 25 student-led service learning projects. And to me, what that means is that they allowed our students to be empowered, where our students can identify a problem, find a solution, and take action utilizing the resources uh, for Painting for a Purpose that funds their particular grants. It really shows them that, uh, as Margaret Mead you know, has stated, you know, never doubt that a few committed citizens could change the world, because indeed, that's all we ever have. And Tina and Jane have actually did that for our students and allowed our students to be empowered to take action. So hopefully they'll learn, uh, our students will learn from uh, their effort and begin to think more globally about what they can do to take action to improve the lives, not only uh, uh, families right here in Portland, but even beyond. The artists who do the work, is that, are they donating their work? Yes, they're definitely donating their work. There are a lot of local known artists, actually, and they are donating their work for us. It's a quite interesting connection, the artist to the students and back around again. Yes, absolutely. And also, just because we call it painting for a purpose, it really, the, when the grants are written, doesn't have to have anything to do with art at all. It's for any student from Portland schools.
If people want more information about the organization or applying for a grant, how, where do they go? Well, they can easily go to our website, paintingforapurpose.net. And that's and we're also on Facebook under the same paintingforapurpose.net.